and I'm a rising sophomore at Lakewood Learning High School. My project was the gesture controlled car. It's a small little car, as you can see right here, that you're able to control with the tilt of your hand uh, by just using this glove. Um, and I chose this project because honestly, uh, throughout like my engineering experience, everything I've basically done has just been coding. And I really wanted to try something that involved more like putting parts together and using wires. And this just really looked interesting to me. And uh, I'm going to show a quick clip of my car actually running. So here. All right, um, so like, as you can see, just by me tilting my hand in the direction I want it to go, I can turn the car, I can make it go forward, backwards, spin left or spin right. Woo. Stop the share. Um, so basically it works uh, by sending accelerometer data. So I have an accelerometer right here on this glove. And uh, so basically it can sense when and where like and how much it's being moved and so I transferred the accelerometer data into specific integers and then translated the integers into um, different commands such as turn left and turn right using little uh, radio transmitters that that's how I sent the data and um, I and using a motor driver which can control each of the motors individually so like how fast they go, uh, which, where, which way they're gonna go. And um, the most challenging part of this project was like finishing the code. Like after I had gotten everything done, as Sky previously said, the NRFs just like messed up. The radio transmitters, they just stopped working for a reason unbeknownst to me or honestly anyone else I talked to. And, uh, but after a long time and like solid two hour sessions in, um, in like the teacher space it was I finally got it and funnily enough the problem I had was putting one equal sign in the code instead of two and that completely destroyed the entire code just missing that one small thing and um, my overall take on this project is like it was really challenging but it was also super fun I mean other than the fact that the radio transmitters were super finicky um, there was a lot of hardware to set up and I thought that like I had an absolute blast and I think one thing that this project made me understand is that like later on in my engineering career I think I'm going to want to stick with things that are more hand-on and less just code so more things around like um thank you for listening and do you have any questions I have a question yeah um, what would you say was the best part of your experience going on the project? Probably when I was putting together the, uh, the car chassis and like trying to just like figure out how to fit everything on there. Cause it was kind of just like a small game of Tetris trying to make sure everything fit and the weight was balanced enough so it wouldn't just tip over. Great. Maya? What language did you code in? Uh, I coded an Arduino. It was really, really complicated. <laughs> and one front more for me. What sort of modifications are you working on? Um, a modification that I'm working on is I'm thinking of adding ultrasonic sensors uh, so that it doesn't like run itself off of a table so that it can sense if uh, something, if like there's a ledge and then it'll just stop. Mm 